Welcome back investors. We have another massive runner with over 800% gains if we take a look here at the highs in 2021 and currently at around 400% gains actually. So we discussed this stock in January. If you take a look right here, January 28th, we talked about this stock. It was trading at 53 cents. So if you would have sold off at the highs, it would have been about 200% gains and at the current level at around 100% gains. So the ticker symbol is obviously gonna be CTRM with that one, Castor Mining. So if you don't wanna miss out on gains like this guys, sit back, relax and enjoy the rest of this video. Smash that like button. All right, guys, so we're going to be looking at the four best penny stocks to look at as we head into the third week of March. So let's dive on in and check them on out, guys. So the first penny stock on our list is going to be Northern Dynasty Minerals LTD. We've talked about this one many times, guys, in our videos. So in the past few months, the company has gone through some major ups and downs due to new management changes. Regardless, the company's main focus is on the Pebble Project in Alaska. Now, this project has been ongoing development for the company, but several legislative issues have halted progress. Now, this includes a major pushback from the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. After Army Corps de denied a proposal of the project, Northern Dynasty submitted an appeal. The appeal was accepted a few weeks ago, which means that the progress could be seen in the foreseeable future. The appeal states that th there are several incorrect factors in the Army Corps' denial of the proposal. In a 56-page uh, request, the Army Corps could hopefully change its mind in the foreseeable future. The main bullish sentiment behind NAK is going to be the potential of the Pebble Project and if it can continue. Although there are legal procedures in the works, investors have high hopes for this project to begin shortly. But right now, it is more you know more of a speculative drive in the stock price. Now, while we wait for this decision, NAK stock remains quite volatile. But the USACE guidelines state that the appeal process could be completed within 90 days. However, there is a potential for an extension with this property. Uh, NAK could be entering the energy market in a big way, considering the raw materials that it would gain immediate exposure to. So, for right now, NAK. Could it be worth watching? Let's take a look at the charts, guys. So this one, ticker symbol NAK, currently was up about 2% on Friday, trading at around 73 cents per share, short-term, mid-term, bullish, long-term, they have it as bearish. Now, if we take a look down here, obviously, in um, you know December, dropped down to about 30 cents, all the way from up here from about 80 cents, so, you know, bad news. The stock continued to roll on up, actually, uh, from 2021. It's made over 100% gains and even, you know, hit highs up here, if you take a look, of about a dollar and 15 cents at one point. So that was over, you know, 200% plus gains that were uh, potentially made right there. Then, obviously, as the market sold off with the tech sector, when we had that little bit of a pullback correction, obviously, all of these penny stocks pulled back as well. Hit down here, actually, at a support level that we had around the 60 cents area, 55 cents area, and continued to build off of it. So now we're going to be bouncing off of that. If if we can break through this one dollar area this stock can continue to run on higher and higher if we get obviously positive news for this alaska project this could definitely be a runner to all the way to about a dollar fifty before we hit our next high resistance once we break through that resistance you know we continue on going higher and higher but i'm going to potentially give this one a price target of about two dollars per share for the rest of 2021 i see very high potential with this one especially if the uh, pr you know the legal situation gets overturned what do you guys think about this one let me know in the comments below now as always guys i appreciate each and every one of you for supporting the channel so go ahead and smash that like button. Let's aim for 200 plus likes in the first 24 hours of this video being up. So go ahead and smash that like button for me, please. And as always, subscribe to the channel. Turn on that bell notification so you get notified every time we make a new video. If you guys want to sign up for We Won't Get Your Two Free Stocks, valued at up to $1,800. Links are going to be in the description. Go ahead and click that link as well. The second hot penny stock is going to be Castor Maritime, which is CTRM that we discussed in the beginning of the video. So this one, we've talked about this one many, many times, guys. You guys saw the massive gains we could have potentially made if you got in on this one. So shares of shipping company have seen a lot of bullish interest in the past few weeks. While CTRM is not necessarily an energy company, it does ship raw material and energy commodities. It has seen some ancillary gains due to the bullish interest surrounding the broader energy market. Now, last week, Castor announced that it had received its newest vessel known as the M-V or Magic Venus. This ship comes with a charter agreement as well as a full plan for its future. The company states that the M-V Magic Venus is expected to commence employment under a time charter agreement on or about March 5th, 2021, with a daily gross charter rate of $18,500 and and an expected term of between minimum five to about seven months. Now, it expects to bring in around 2.8 million in gross revenue in the minimum schedule it accomplished. If it works out the maximum schedule period, the company could bring in nearly 4.2 million in revenue. During the pre-market hours on March 12th, CTRM announced a Camsamar dry bulk carrier for 16.5 million. With this, it should definitely be adding a new revenue stream to its shipping operations. While it may take some time before this new vessel goes into operation, this is definitely encouraging for investors to consider. Obviously, if we look at the future, guys, you have to think about, you know, six months out what's going to happen with our stocks. 
you have to see if there's potential new you know catalysts coming on or what's going on with the penny stocks so also on march 11th it took delivery of the m-t wonder polaris the company stated that this shop could bring in a gross daily higher amount of fifteen thousand dollars it plans to complete this transaction via the cash it has on hand these are some great news for ctrm once again this company is doing excellent things as it's growing you know larger and larger so this one ticker symbol ctrm up about three percent on friday which is great it's trading at around one dollar and two cents short term mid term long term bullish 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 guys analysts have this one on very bullish and so do i so we've you know discussed this this one in january like we said around the 50 cents area and it went all the way up here to highs of about two dollars per share at one point and then pulled back down obviously all the way down to about 65 cents here on this market pullback but now that actually was a great buying opportunity so we saw the market pullback and i told you know investors and other friends that i had in my you know field i told them look guys this is a great buying opportunity even on these penny stocks because they followed the market they pulled back down now obviously there's gonna be huge potential for these already i mean if you would have got down here at the lows of about 65 cents you already made about you know 50 percent plus on that investment just in a matter of a week or two so this one's coming back up guys it's definitely going to come back up in the future it has great potential lots of things coming its way in 2021 volume is around 90 million shares 70 million shares we even see days of 100 plus million shares so with this one once it consolidates here and breaks through, it's going to continue to run. I'm going to give CTRM a price target of $2.50, which gives it an over 150% potential even higher gain. So this one is just a massive runner for us. It's probably going to be one of our best picks that we've talked about on the channel in 2021 for sure. And we're definitely going to be doing a recap at the end of the year to see which one of our picks was the best one. So let me know, guys, what do you guys think about CTRM? The third penny stock on our list is going to be Denison Mines Corp. So right here, as far as alternative energy goes, nuclear has always been on the back burner. While several tragic uh, instances have retracted faith in the energy source, nuclear remains as one of the most powerful and sensible ways to generate power. Now, according to the report done by the Nuclear Innovation Alliance, even with the recent growth in the wind and solar power, nuclear energy still provides more carbon-free electricity nationwide than all other sources combined, which is, wow, that is actually surprising to me. So while De Denison Mines is not a producer of nuclear energy, it does mine uranium. This is the most critical part of the production of nuclear energy. The company is currently working on building a new method to produce uranium more efficiently. It is doing this through the use of its in-situ recovery methods. These allow it to extract very high-grade uranium ore at a, ma at a maximum efficiency level. The company presents itself a low-cost producer of uranium with more than enough capital to continue operations, obviously. So while many similar energy penny stocks have been working on raising capital, DNN states that it has plenty of funds to sustain itself in the near future, which is huge news, guys. They have plenty of cash is what they're pretty much saying. So because of the large focus on finding alternative energy sources, companies like Denison continue to be on the list of energy stocks to watch. Let's take a look. Ticker symbol DNN. It was up about 9.6% today or on Friday at the close. Currently trading at around $1.14 per share. Short term bullish, mid term bearish, and then long term we have it very bullish. So if we take a look at just what it's been doing here, I mean, you know, since February from 66 cents to highs of about $1.81, that's about a 200% gain right there. Obviously pulled back down, but we had volume here. Look at the volume 142 million shares. Right here we had 181 million shares, broke 200 million shares. So we had a lot of momentum going up. And then obviously once the whole sector pulled back down with the tech sector as the Nasdaq pulled back, uh, volume started to trickle on down and we had a sell-off happen all the way down here to lows of about 98 cents or about a dollar. Now right there, we're building this strong support. It looks like we're going to be building a strong support around the $1 level, which is great. That means when it comes back down in the future, uh, hopefully it'll stick around that $1, $1 range and bounce back off of it. So volume is still pretty decent around 10 million, 15 million shares right now. Now we're going to be looking for this one to continue to trend back up. If we can break through this area around 150, 175, we can continue to make new 52-week highs. So with uh, Denison Mines Corp. I'm going to give this one a price target of $2.50 for 2021. I think it has a great potential with to make over 100% gains in the rest of the year. All right, guys. So the last one is going to be Aqua Metals Inc. So that's going to be the number four pick. Aqua Metal Inc. is often talked about alongside electric vehicle penny stocks. This is because it is a recycler of metals used in the production of batteries. The company utilizes its aqua refining technology, which can produce refined materials with less pollution than uh, standard methods. Additionally, what this is, uh, it can create ultra pure lead at a purity rate of 99.9996%. Recently, Aqua Metals has uh, worked on utilizing this production method for lithium batteries. 
Now, these are the batteries that are in everything from electric vehicles to TV remotes and more. So obviously, this is going to be a huge deal. You guys know, you know, a lot of these electric vehicle companies are using these. And, um, you know, some of them are saying that we're running short. So we definitely need uh, more production. It is invested into LINICO Corp, which is a startup working on producing sustainable methods for lithium reclamation. The investment into LINICO was made in the partnership with other business, similar businesses, including Comstock Mining, uh, ticker symbol LODE. Because EV penny stocks are so heavily focused on right now, many investors are looking at companies like Aqua Metals. After regaining the compliance with the NASDAQ's listing requirement, shares of AQMS have since then you know, seen a great amount of bullish interest. And since December of last year, the shares of the recycling company are up over 280% with uh, investors continuing to seek out alternative energy penny stocks, AQMS could be one to watch. So AQMS, the ticker symbol, it was up about 2.8% on Friday at the close. It's currently trading at around $4.70, short-term bullish, mid-term bearish, and then long-term very bullish. Let's take a look. Beginning last year, uh, about a year ago. So let's take a look at a year ago in April, it was trading at $0.38 cents per share. Since then, we went to highs up here of about $8 per share. So if we just take a look from the 38 cents area and we're right now we're at the $4.70 cents area, that is over, that is over like a 1200 or 1300% gain that we saw just in a matter of a year or so. So over 1200% gains, that means if you would have invested $1,000 into this penny stock last year in April, right now that $1,000 will be worth, you know, massive amounts over over ten thousand dollars over ten thousand dollars which is huge if you think about it so obviously with the market once again it pulled back down here at you know mid february continued to go down all the way actually down to about three dollars thirty cents because it just didn't have a support level to bounce off of until we got to about three dollars level where it kind of had a little bit of a consolidation area right here so that's where it bounced off of right now and now we're at 470 uh, you know volume pretty low actually between 2 million and 10 million shares depending on the day and what's going on around the you know stock market but with this one i see very very huge potential obviously as everybody needs those batteries for electric vehicles and aqua metals is definitely one to keep an eye out on i think it could easily go back up to eight dollars even potentially get new 52 week highs of ten dollars per share which would give it over 100 percent gains for the rest of 2021 that is going to be my personal price target on aqua metals guys as always guys none of this is going to be financial advice this is all for educational purposes these are just four penny stocks that we're looking at on this list that have potential going throughout 2021 obviously we have some nice runners on the channel but you have to do your own due diligence before investing into any type of stocks especially penny stocks because they can be very very volatile and you don't want to get stuck bag holding them because it could fall down like a falling knife and you could lose a lot of your hard-earned money and you don't want to see that right so i hope you guys enjoy this type of content if you do go ahead and smash that like button let's aim for 200 plus likes on this video in the first 24 hours subscribe to the channel and turn on that bell notification to get notified every time we make a new video leave a comment below what penny stocks are you buying right now or any of these on your list and did you guys get into any of these winners as always if you guys want to sign up for Webull, there's gonna be a link in the description get your two free stocks when you sign up today i hope you guys enjoyed and i hope to see you guys in the next one goodbye